So what did I do well this year and uh, why? Well, I think what I did well um, was being flexible. Um, we had kind of a um, little bit of a tumultuous year in, in, in sixth grade where uh, we had a teammate leave. Um, and then there was the process of uh, looking for somebody who could um, fill that void and really make us whole again. Um, and we've definitely uh, found that with uh, Lauren Leahy. Um, but I think the, the, the reason why I had to remain so flexible is because I knew what the end goal was. I knew the, the purpose was in order for our kids to be successful, the team had to be whole, um, and so really paying close attention to who could be that uh, last fourth of our team uh, to finish off the semester uh, was really, really important, and it was not an easy task, um, and so um, I'm really grateful to have Lauren uh, as part of our team uh, moving forward. Um, welcome back, uh, Mr. Notley. Um, sorry to see you go, Mrs. Nussbaum, but I'm glad that you are going to still be on our campus. Um, and uh, definitely going to miss uh, Stephanie Leggio. Uh, good luck back in Jersey. Um, but uh, hopefully we have found a uh, another quality fourth uh, in Zell Fowler. Uh, so what kind of going back to what I did well, um, was remaining flexible uh, and the reason why was uh, for the kids. So where do I need to grow? Um, I think the the area that I need some improvement on uh, is tolerance. Um, I remember starting off the school year saying um, nobody can give my 100% uh, to Knox Gifted Academy. Um, and I struggled uh, uh, several times this year where I felt that others were not giving uh, their 100%. And who knows, uh, it, it's quite possible that it was, and I cannot be judgmental about that. Um, so being tolerant of uh, differences among my colleagues um, and being realistic about expectations that I have of others. So I think the... The way that I need to challenge myself uh, in the 1819 school year, and this comes from some feedback from my administrator, Lynn Weed, is to find somebody on campus uh, that I can learn from. Um, don't get me wrong, I have not figured it out. I haven't figured anything out. Um, I'm still learning. Uh, but to have somebody on site uh, who can be a mentor to me? Um, you know, just looking for lots of ways, whether it's content related, whether it's a uh, pedagogy, um, whether it's a connection outside of school, uh, but find somebody on campus who can um, kind of take me to that next level. Um, if I can do those three things, if I can, let's see, uh, find a mentor, um, be tolerant, uh, and continue to have that flexibility, um, the way that's going to impact uh, the learners at Knox Gifted Academy, and by learners it could be my colleagues, uh, it could be parents, it could be students, it could be, uh, it could be me, um, it's really going to impact them because it's going to allow me to be my best me. Um, and it's going to make sure that it shores up uh, my why at Knox Gifted Academy. And once I kind of get that why dialed in, um, and you know, every year you kind of have to keep cycling back to the why and the why's change. Um, uh, once I can get that dialed in, it's gonna have such a positive impact on the people that I interact with on a daily basis. That's a cat licking my head. It's terrible.